Hey Chainmail Chasers, Davey here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Mario. All caps Mario, as in the ROM hack pasta. The pasta is pretty normal, all things considered. A guy finds a strange ROM hack for Super Mario World Online. It was just called Mario, by a user of the same name except with spaces between every letter. Curiosity, of course, gets the better of him, and he decides to play the hack. Things are generally creepy, albeit tame for the most part, until he beats Iggy's castle. After that, you receive a brutal description of a murder scene, which is as follows. Victim number one. Eyeballs were unable to be found. The victim was found lying on her carpet. Causes of death unknown. Hand marks with unidentifiable fingerprints were found all over the corpse. That by itself is a good hook but the pasta is mostly famous for something even more memorable. A high-ranking member of the forum that the hack was posted to tried turning a text file that came with the ROM into an image. This originally failed due to image corruption, but they searched the resolution on Google and found this iconic image, which matched the uncorrupted top portion of the Mario image, and still freaks me the hell out. You know, people put two and two together and assumed that this was supposed to be victim number one. Despite this creepypasta being extremely popular, the source of this image continuously just flew under the radar. Now, full disclosure, a lot of the following information is coming from a video by a YouTube user called Midnight Crick. I won't be going into as much detail as them in this section of the video, so please check them out for more information. So as it turns out, this image actually originated from a 2009 ARG promoting a band called Common Man Down on 4chan where it was originally called the Nightmare Picture. Reportedly, it was supposed to cause inexplainable things just by being downloaded, such as setting itself as your desktop background. And if you opened it in Notepad, it would say find me, find me, find me, find me, repeated ad nauseum. As noted in the pasta, the Mario image says the same thing, so this proves they're one and the same. Midnight Crick apparently found someone involved with the original ROM hack, who helped them discover that the base image used for the victim was actually a picture of a ghost from Fatal Frame. Now, I was skeptical. Well, not me, but my friend who runs this channel. They were skeptical. All the information checks out, but it would have been edited so much to get from here to there. So we went into an image editor and took to recreating the image, garnering a pretty compelling result. Something didn't feel right though. The left side just you know, doesn't quite add up. So, obviously, we did Old Reliable, looked it up on 10i, 